I've seen so many developers absolutely motivated to make a huge game, trying to make the next jailbreak, something crazy. They have great ideas and suddenly they just disappear or they, they quit. They drop off the face of the earth for all I could know. But let's figure out exactly what's causing this. So you start Roblox development, you're aiming to make a huge game, you're planning this massive detailed project, you know, you're, you're into it, you're immersed. Does that sound familiar? Well, that's exactly where the trap is. The trap is in this huge motivation to make this huge game. It seems kind of backwards, but let me explain. Now you're trying to make the Mona Lisa but with crayons. This is what it's like when you start as a new developer and you're trying to make the biggest game ever, okay? We don't want to make such a huge project for our first game. So I remember when I started, I wanted to make a bunch of games. I had so many ideas. I remember me and this the group that I was in called Volt Gaming Studios, we wanted to make this game called Camping Simulator, and we wanted to have like a huge map, all these different campsites, all this stuff, but it was not organized, it was way too big of a project for how experienced I was, and it didn't work out. We didn't finish the game, there was a lot of motivation to start, but it didn't end up working out. You know, I've made other projects in the background that are more advanced, and some of those got close, but what really took off out of all the games I've worked on was the most simple, most ridiculous, most absolutely crude games. This is Jimmy Games. Jimmy Games is a group of meme games. They're so simple. We call them land games, right? And there's just shooters. There's, I mean, it's improved over time, but it's really, really simple games. This is where, this is what I'm talking about when I'm trying to tell people to make simple games. Because I have made, I've tried to make so many large projects, and of course, the smallest, simplest, weirdest projects that I have made have been the most successful, right? And when we made Jimmy Games, we didn't expect this, but we put it out and literally people love memes, people love simple games. And if you throw in monetization in there and you add that as a goal, but you also make a fun game, you will have the funds to go ahead and make way better games later. You'll also have experience of running a community if you can grow this game. And that's exactly how it happened for us in Jimmy Games. Now we're making huge games behind the scenes, we're making insane things, and I think that if you can adopt this workflow of making simple games, gaining Robux from them, and then creating more advanced games, you're going to be in a good spot. Now, I'm also making a video soon on exactly how to plan your game out. A very key idea from that video is this thing called an MVP. Have you heard of that? Well, not a most valuable player, but a minimum viable product. Before making like a huge game, right, you go ahead and make a very small game that, that has some of the features that you want, but it has just the bare bones necessary stuff, right? Rather than making the next jailbreak, you make, you know, a simple prison and maybe one, one bank to rob or something, right? You don't make all these different locations on the first one. A minimum viable product is just the minimum, absolute, bare bones version of your game that is playable and fun and and somewhat meets your vision and you might wonder like you might you might be a little bit demotivated when you hear this you might be like what's the point if i'm not going to make the big game your dream game the first time what is the point well the thing is the, the good thing about making an mvp is actually that you won't waste time see you could make that game you could finish your huge dream game that you want but you go through all this effort you go through all this work even if you drop the game, you might it might not resonate with players. You might have gone so far, made this advanced game, that people might not even like it, you know? And what a minimum viable product allows you to do is it allows you to test it at an early stage where it can still be modified, changed as much as you want, and then, this is called pivoting, right? We test it out, and then we pivot to adjust to what the market or what our players want. And we can adjust our game from this simple stage to be adaptable. See, when you think about the, ro the word development, develop means to work on something gradually. Like literally, that's what it means. So why are you trying to make your entire game all at once? That's not how game development works, especially on Roblox where you can launch an update in one click. So make an MVP, test that MVP, and then pivot, pivot, pivot until it is good. Improve it, pivot, but pivoting is gonna allow you to align it to what the players want 
and get that sweet spot between your vision and what the players want and be able to adapt in real time. You know, that's one of the largest benefits of Roblox. You can upload a game three seconds. You can update the game two seconds, right? You have all this fast access that people don't get anywhere else. You have this ability to test games with millions of players able to reach them at any, at any moment of any day. It is remarkable. People take this for granted. You can test game ideas like that instantly, right? MVP, test that MVP, pivot and improve based on the testing and what people are thinking. Beta test, whatever you want to do, right? You could test with friends even for your first MVP. And we're going to be going into this much more in depth, so make sure to subscribe. And if the video is out, you can click it on screen right now to go ahead and watch that and see exactly how to plan your game out, make an MVP, and start pivoting, right? Because this is going to be key in making your game and maybe not to the extreme degree of Jimmy Games, but definitely replicating in somewhat what we have done. Intentionally or not, we have made an MVP and we've pivoted over time. And meme games are quite the extreme example, but it proves the point, right? So, see you there.